Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today we are going to learn about named arguments in your Microsoft Access VBA code. We're going to learn how to use them for our procedure calls for increased flexibility and readability and to prevent having to smash that comma key so many times to get to the end of the parameter list. You know what I'm talking about. All right, today's question comes from Bryce in Apex, North Carolina, one of my Platinum members. Bryce says, I wrote a function that I call create customer, and I use it in several places in my code to create a new customer record. You think that's what create customer does? Okay, sorry, <laughs> based on a lead. All right, the function accepts a whole bunch of parameters, including name, address, phone number, and so on, but sometimes I only want to specify name and phone number, and I've got to enter a million commas to get to the end of the parameter list to enter the phone number. Is there an easier and shorter way to write that function call? Well, yep, we can do that with something called named arguments. And let me show you how it works. But first, this of course is a developer level video, which means you're gonna need some VBA code experience under your belt. If you've never done any VBA programming before, go watch this, it's free, it's on my website, it's on my YouTube channel, it covers everything you need to know about VBA to get started. All right, so here's a sub I've created called create customer. And it takes a bunch of parameters, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, phone number. All right, you send all those things to the sub and the code inside here will add that record to the table. How you do that is a topic for another video. You could use an SQL statement, you could use a record set, there's a lot of ways to do it. And if you don't know how to make your own custom sub or function, go watch this video, create function, okay? Now, if you want to be able to only specify some of these things, let's say maybe sometimes you only get first name, last name, and phone number, and you don't want to bother with all the address stuff. Well, in that case, you have to use optional parameters. And again, here's another video that explains these, right? You put the optional keyword in front of the stuff that is optional. Now, in this case, first name and last name are required, so you have to send it parameters. And then the rest of these are optional. You can set it whatever you want. If you don't specify anything, you'll get an empty string. Once you start an optional parameter, all the rest of them have to be optional. All right, you can't put a, a required parameter after an optional one, all right? Now, when you call that sub from somewhere else, you say create customer and then your list of parameters, okay? Now, the way that Bryce has it right now, if he only has first name, last name, and the phone number, he's gotta go comma, 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 comma. You've probably heard me joke in some of my other videos like open form. Right, it's do command dot open form, form name, comma, 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 chameleon, right? And then you put the where condition, same kind of thing here. And you can use these named arguments, by the way, with the built-in access functions too. Now, not only is this difficult to write, it's also difficult to read, okay? Now here, phone number is optional. You can tell just by looking at it that it's phone number, right? But if you just had a bunch of numeric parameters in here and you didn't know which one was which, you'd have to click on it, hit the space bar, then these little, you know, the, the IntelliSense would show up to tell you what field it is. It's just, it's not easy to read, all right? So this is where named arguments are nice, okay? You specify your required ones first, with, you don't have to specify a name for those, and then here you go. You put the name of the field, the exact name of the field as it appears in your parameter field list in your declarations, and then a colon equals, Got to have the colon, colon equals, and then your value. So here you can say, right, first name, last name, and then the phone number is that, and you don't have to type in all those commas. And anyone who comes across this and is reading it, it makes it much more intelligible, right? Sometimes you'll see code posted online where they use that for all the fields, and you can if you want to, just to describe exactly what that field value is. Now, once you start with a named argument, the rest of them have to also be named. You can have your unnamed ones up front if you want, that's fine. But as soon as you name one, the rest of them have to be named as well. So this is not correct, but this is correct. Here I have two unnamed ones and then named zip and then named phone number and then named whatever else you want. And that's it, it's that simple. That's how you use named arguments. If you like this stuff, if you like learning VBA with me, come check out my website. I've got tons of developer lessons available. Teach you everything you know about VBA to build some awesome databases. There's the link right there. Scan the QR code, come and visit. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something, my friends. Live long and prosper. I'll see you next time.
If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward, <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members, Get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members 
get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.